This is module 13, lesson 2. It's called Find Volume of Rectangular Prisms. And as we're talking about this, our new um, formula, since we're doing volume, it's V equals length times width times height. We're multiplying three numbers together this time. We're going to, you can find this on page 422. We're not doing everything on 422. We're just looking at A and B. So let's look at number one. A cube with edge length of one unit and volume one cubic unit is filled with smaller cubes as shown. Find the volume. How many cubes are there? So if we have three by three, that means that there's nine here, nine here, and nine here. So there are 27 cubes because there are three rows of nine. How does the combined volume of the small cubes compare to the volume of the large cube? The volume is equal. Volume is equal. And we're not going to do the rest of this because it's going to be very confusing to you. So we're going to go on over to page 423 to step it out. You can find the volume of a rectangular prism using the following formulas. Volume equals length times width times height or volume equals a big B and an H. The big B equals the length times width. We are gonna use this one right here. Volume equals length times width times height. So we're gonna be taking three numbers and just multiplying them together. So let's fill this in. Josh would like to know how much flour his container can hold. The length is eight and a half, so the length right there. The width, this way is eight, and the height is 12 and a half. Now, it does not really matter if you put them in the wrong way because if I multiply them together, I'm gonna to get the same answer. So let's plug them in. We're gonna, the length is eight and a half, the width is eight, and the height is 12 and a half. We are going to skip this box and this box because you are plugging this into your calculator. When you do eight and a half times eight times 12 and a half, you get 850, so 850 inches cubed. And now I'm gonna write that 